Hey everybody, welcome to a, another commentary by Diggity, and this time I've got Eskia alongside, which makes us some sort of casting Archon. We'll have to figure out the name as we go. This is from the Dead Infested Cup. We've got Psychonauts going up against Character R. Character R starting here in the bottom left-hand corner as the Red Terran. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Psychonauts starting as the White Protoss. I'm actually surprised to see Protoss in this map. And if you're unfamiliar with Infested Map, this is the Dead Infested Cup hosted by Dead Infested. Uh, the way this map works everybody gets an infested command center and on this particular map everybody gets two overlords and there's a bajillion critters everywhere but before i dive into it any further i want to introduce uh Eskia alongside oh yeah uh well i'm Eskia and um i guess we're like friends and uh, i stream as well on uh, twitch.tv slash Eskia sc2 um and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool to cast alongside with Diggity today, because I've been like a huge time fan. Uh, I'll, I'll get the fangirl part out of it, you know, <laughs> just, I, straight from the... <laughs> you're feeling, you're like, oh my gosh, spotlight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more relaxed. Uh, I guess we're friends. That's a bit presumptuous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this is, um, should be fun matches, I guess, for casting Archon equivalently. So like, a, a ski is like Bandit in Turkish, right? Yes. So yes, like with Diggity, uh, so like a dig Diggity Bandit would be like a Grave Robber equivalently. So I guess with a Grave Robbing Archon, which I think is is uh, is good for a Dead Infested Cup equivalently. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it uh, looks like both players are immediately taking gas. So obviously this is one of, as far as StarCraft modes, this is one of the more sillier modes. This mode in particular, you really need to get your gas down quickly, get your Infested Command Center out. I think on other maps of this type, I think we're going to see a variety of the maps. You can actually lift the command center out and kind of use it as an, a forward tactical assault. Uh, sometimes in this, you need those infested Terrans out to clear the critters, but you need to be careful not accidentally... Well, I, it's kind of the thing where you need to be in a good position to be aggressive, I think, moving forward, because uh, if you clear the path and you don't have enough to deal with your opponent, then you're in big trouble, right? And actually, I'm really shocked to see Psychonauts go Protoss, because I feel like Terran early, particularly having like the Marines to shoot down all of the uh, dead, inf or I should say the infested Terrans, I, th I feel like that's a big advantage. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, well, we can see that uh, Bengalas, uh, or sorry, uh, Psychonauts are uh, is zapping away the, the critters right now. So he's kind of uh, making a nice pathway for himself. And as you said, well, they also act like a defensive measure, right? Because um, they act like kind of a funnel for, like, marines or zealots, I guess. Uh, but, you know, Psychonos is working his way uh, up. And uh, as we can see, uh, 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 character R um, got his first invested turret out, and he's making a run for it. <laughs> it's you. like, who cares about these critters? I'm just going to make my way in. <laughs> The command center, the critical component being lifted off, exploding on the probe, oh. killing some of the critters. Didn't hit the pylon, but made a big scary explosion. And that, let's see if this triggers. And this is the problem. Psychonauts in a panic lifting off his command center. He's not going to be able to land it again with all of these critters in the way. <laughs> so at a huge disadvantage now. Also, in the meantime, these other command centers are capturable. Oh, no, another one is walking in. Oh. <laughs> he might go for the mineral lines. Oh, he's lines. going for the mineral lines. He's going for the mineral lines. Oh, oh no. Down to six probes, so huge advantage to character R thus far. Uh, looks like a gateway is being planted, so that's the only thing that could be snuck in amidst this critter. But Psycho, Psycho Nuts at a huge disadvantage. First of all, he's down two, command, uh, two infested command centers. Look like another infested command center has been captured to the north. But on top of that, character R has already got two barracks rolling. Yeah, he's got a bunch of critters around, but he's got his infested command center rolling. And Psycho Nuts, with the panic liftoff, I don't know that he's going to be able to get this done with just zealots alone. Oh no, cue the Jaws team, because there's another infested Terran walking towards Psychonauts. Where do you think this one's gonna land Diggity? I would honestly just go for the, like, see if I, oh no, if he's gonna go for the gateway. I would land alongside that pylon and see, because he can be patient with these. He does, there's no attack units right now. There's just critters in the way. So why not just, you know, walk alongside that pylon, get the splash damage there, put Psychonauts in the red, and cap the game from there. But right now, it looks like it is a non-stop stream of Infested Terrans from character R. He is definitely <laughs> dominating this thus far. Looks like he, this one, he's going to go wandering through. He needs to hurry up with it, though, because oh, it looks like... Oh, by the critters. There's a Zealot in the way. The Zealot not able to get there because of the critters, though. The probe is trying to attack. 
Some critters diet looks like three more probes down. Three probes down. That's a really nice hit there. Um, I think there's like a nice balance of uh, worker harass into um, like damage, building damage wise. You know, there's a balance going on. Oh, there's another, <laughs> there's another infested Terran coming up. And oh, they were, they just exploded on top of the stacked uh, probes there. Uh, Psychonauts down to like seven probes now. Um, I don't even get to finish my thoughts because there's there's another infested Terran out for uh, a character. And um, yeah, I think what you said was like um, uh, uh, correct. I think he could have like exploded right between uh, uh, the gateway and the pylon and could have dealt like splash damage to both. And um, if my math is correct, like two, um, two infested Terrans should be enough, but they, they also regenerate, right? So that would make three infested Terrans sufficient to take out the pylon and the gateway. And <laughs> oh no, there's another infested Terran in the mineral lines. Oh, oh, he's down to five probes. Down. This is... I don't know if the Zealot's even going to be... This is the other thing with with Terran on this map in particular, is Zealots are melee units. And you can see this Marine... Ah! Oh, he got stuck on the Rhinodon. But Marines have a better uh, better option just fleeing in the midst of all of these critters as well. It looks like an SCV, an infested Terran, and several Marines trying to make their way through the pile to get over to Psychonauts. Uh, so the Marines, I think, are going to try to clear out that Zealot. And honestly, I think this might be GG right here. And look at this. This is just a perfect blockade. This poor zealot cannot get past any of the critters. <laughs> Looks like that cannon is not long for life. More critters being wiped out. And yeah, I think this is going to be GG in a second here. It looks like character R trying to take care. Actually, is he going to try to get a bunker down? It looks like he's trying to clear a path for a bunker potentially with these SCVs. The zealot <laughs> somehow getting on top of that marine. Nice micro on character R to move that back. But honestly, I just feel like Terran... Oh, no. Terran just outmatches Protoss on this particular map. Psychonauts is having some trouble getting those zealots out because they're trapped between all those critters. And now his pylon becomes, you know, sieged by the Marines here. He's trying to get a desperation cannon uh, up here. But, uh, you know, I guess I guess the rule still holds silly, silly maps, silly times require, you know, silly measures. You got to just keep on making the infested Terran. I think uh, the the mistake of Psychonauts was lifting that initial uh, the uh, panic lift command center. <laughs> maybe now his, uh, maybe you could sneak back Psychonauts. into this if you could just find <laughs> Psychonauts declaring send them, bring it, killing his own marine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> A glorious explosion. Character not calculating the the the, in, the splash damage, so loses actually a lot of troops. But in the meantime. Probe gets a kill. I love seeing the battle probes. Gateway's unpowered, so it's a single zealot, eight probes versus everything on this side. Now, as much as this game looks over, keep in mind there's still an, inf uh, an infested command center to the northwest that maybe magically could get dropped by Psychonauts. Looks like never mind. A Marine's on top of that. A bunch of infested Terrans on standby, and it looks like there is a bunker. What happens if an infested Terran tries to go into... Like, from your team, tries to go into a bunker. I'm kind of curious to see that. Like, a complete bunker, infested Terran tried to get in there, and there just seems something, like, just inherently off about that concept. The rest of the infested Terrans coming in, oh, they're not no. spread out. The Nexus, one hit away, and that is it. Is Psychonauts going to try to rebuild? He does have 420 minerals. But their critter's in the way. He can't replant the Nexus. Oh, no. <laughs> this must be so infuriating. Imagine just, you know queuing up on like a really nice critter map and then you just you know get your nexus blown apart <laughs> and you can't just make a nexus because of the stupid creatures walking around like the rhinodons and the bengalas and everything it's a real jungle out here diggity. it's a real jungle out here this is i feel like this would be a good map for like some sort of PETA thing you know where it's like <laughs> animals make a difference although you know the considering the violent it's actually this is like the perfect PETA campaign thing because PETA all too often like, oh, we're going to do this creative thing that pisses everybody off sort of thing. And this is like the perfect map for that. It's like, care about the animals, except the animals get in the way. And don't. And so it's not like, like, oh, yeah, we can coexist with the animals. Like, no. Oh, the probes. Oh, the infested Terrans, the infested Terrans. Will he explode? Oh. oh, he just blew up on the pylon. Oh, no, that's <laughs> a big juicy hit there. So we're down, like to, down to four probes. I'm going to call this one for character R. He's actually, is he bunkering up? So Psychonauts, okay, there he's calling GG. I was like, is he going to go to the last building? So game one, very uh, 
definitively going to character R. We'll move on to the next match. I think there is a variety of dead infested maps that we are going to be seeing. Special links to dead infested for, first of all, hosting the tournament and getting us these replays. I'm going to confer with him. He's actually watching on live stream. If you have not said hi to him, be sure to say hi to him at large. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.